Hello everyone, we're back for another M-Man Tries, and this one we are doing one that is literally out in the market. Well, I say literally out in the market. It has officially been released as I'm recording this, but it has been available through Steam's early access for mm, a few months now. Anyway, well, today we're looking at Epigenesis. Now, this is a game that I don't often see on Steam, a sports game. Now, I, I, I don't mean that as in it's like FIFA or something. No, this is an actual sport that people have made up. And we, and in this game, you get to play it as one of a few team members of the two tribes fighting for control. And I can admit, I really wish this sort of game style was a, a bit more prominent in the PC genre because I like sports. Now, I, I may not be the biggest fan of football or baseball or all that, but the whole two teams going against each other and it's completely based on skill. I'm completely for that. I think that's a great thing. And to be able to capture that and put that into a game it's just really good because it keeps the act, the, the game. It's got a good tense, tense. You want to say, yeah, have to keep control of the ball. You got to make sure that you and your team are working to the best possible outcome. So yeah, I'm totally for this in games. And anyway, in this one, as you can see, we're playing some weird game involving platforms. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over what this is. In Epigenesis, a ball will spawn uh, basically here, where you can see it in this, and then the two teams have to grab the ball and then fling it into one of the two goals that you've seen on either side of the map for their corresponding thing to the team. It, yeah, it's it's very similar to um, football or um, rugby or if you ever if you play t tabletop miniatures, it's very similar to Dreadball or Blood Bowl. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, but there's a few things that help make this out. One is that you have a lot of freedom of movement in this game. You're jumping about the place, as you can see this guy doing here. You also have weapons on your arms. But now, these weapons are not like your standard shooter weapons. They will not kill. All they will do is force your opponent back. And this again it has a level of skill because while these guns are really hard to hit a moving target you also have to take into account how you're going to hit them because <clears throat> if you just hit them and they're on a platform it'll knock them back but it won't do much if they're already on if they're on a big platform but if they're in the air and you can knock them right off knock them to the side then they're, they're going to fall off the platform as like this poor man and so yeah it requires a lot of timing and strategy. And the shooting doesn't just affect you, it can also affect the ball. It's hard, but apparently you can actually juggle the ball with your shots, so that's pretty cool. Another thing is, you'll notice these plants everywhere. These are basically um, sort of like buildings that you can spawn. Every time you score a goal personally, you'll get a seed. You can plant that seed, which will create one of these various constructions that do things for your team. And you eventually start consuming the map, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, so I've had enough talking about this. I'm just going to get in there now. Uh, as we see here, they've gotten some brand new things. They've got a shop, which allows you to spell and uh, mission points on player skins. Which I think is pretty cool, it gives you something to work towards. There's some pretty cool ones out there for the two teams. And as well as skins for the plants. And then you've got the missions, these are just like, hey, try planting three seeds in one game. Hard, but if you can do it, just congratulations. So stuff like that, it, I, I like that system, it keeps you playing. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly join a queue. We're going to have a look at this baby. Now I've been playing this game since it first came out on um, Early Access. I, I checked it out, thought it looked really interesting, so I've been looking at it, I've been supporting and I've been giving my feedback. And they do seem to have banked on some of them, but as you will see as we load in the game, that there are still a few um, things that I think could do with improving. And oh man, he is fool! <laughs> yeah... <laughs> It's a bit weird that you would find that out after you choose your team, but eh. 
fine. Anyway, you can also send your loadouts. Oh, uh, one thing I will say, jumping in this game is a bit different. Because you can charge up your shots, uh, charge up your jumps, so you get like two charges. Oh yeah, and you will fall a lot in this game, just to know, let you know that you will fall a lot. <laughs> anyway, so jump for one charge and then jump to use your second charge. That's how the jumping in this game works. There is also a charge one, but I quite like this one. I think it's this loadout way is pretty good. Oh! Oh! Just shoot this guy. Come on, call us a puncher. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Oh, um. So your gun has two firing modes. The first is like a slow but explosive shot, and the second, I'll change here, is railgun. Railgun is a lot harder to aim, but will do hit them for a lot more impact than you can. There are also items, as you can see. This one up here, see if I can grab it. And. Oh no, no! Oh wait, I already had one. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a ditz now. <laughs> anyway, um... Okay, let's see if I can grab this item real quick before this game starts. And... Go! Okay, so these are items you get after the game. This one's grapple. Allows you to grapple onto the side of a building, although it doesn't seem to have helped too much. And I'm dead anyway. Hmm. This is probably not the best example, but trust me, these items can be good in pinch, and I'm gonna say I'm ready and hope that their te other team goes for it too. Oh, here we go. What contrites me to be Army's Hustable? Every Genesis! Let the games begin! Uh, that's weird. Oh yeah, uh, one thing I'll say that I find quite quite funny is um, the announcer the announces has a bit weird. It doesn't say you have the ball or has the ball, it says you has the ball. <laughs> I quite find that amusing to myself. Oh, oh, no, oh, I missed, no, no, referee, referee. Anyway, so yeah, gotta try again. Here's the ball. Can I get it? Uh, I've got my ball. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha Nice! I got a hit. Knocked him off. Now that ball's gonna respawn in a few seconds. Don't wanna get too close. Ooh. Hey, it's my ball! That's a get down. <laughs> Very nice. Ball is mine. Has the ball. Has the ball. Shit. Shit, dude. Has the ball. Ah, darn. I need to think of a better way of getting to their goal without being so exposed. Argos has the ball. So guys, go. I can get that hook. Has the ball. All right, here we go. Um, one thing I'm going to say: this game Arcos definitely has, has an interesting art style, with the fact that you have um, what looks like a high-tech ninja team fighting. Uh, purple Roman Gladiator team. Whoop! Oh, I missed. Oh, nuts. Anyway, um, that's nothing I've got an issue with. I think that's kind of cool. My one issue with the aesthetics of this game is it's meant to be a sport. This, this game's meant to be a sport played like intergalactically. Like these are games that are watched throughout the universe and all that, and there is not a single crowd man in sight. Burn site. That is a problem I have with the game, but you know, it's you know, it's a friend, it's a new game, it's by Indie Studio. Oh, yes! Goal! Goal! Yes! Rickener! That's me planting the seed. 
I've planted the ramp seed, let's see. Huh. Oh, there you come. Oh, there you go. There we go. You can also um, have buffs attached to the to your things. My one gives you a speed boost. So you got a ramp that gives you a nice boost of speed. Very nice. Let's get me a shockwave. I'll send them flying. Alright, here we go. I has the ball. Oh, there's. And I wondered where the enemy team was. Oh, shoot. Must have knocked me off. Ah, that's the same thing. Yeah. Oh. Hey, we got the ball. Good boy. All right, get that going. Anyway, so I hope this game gets a bit more support and they maybe upgrade the aesthetics and all that jazz. But for the most part, I quite like this game. I think this is a game that I'd, I'd like more people to be playing because. You could have tournaments, you can make your own teams, clan tags, all that jazz that you get in a lot of shooters and League of Legends. But, oh, no! No, I fell, I died. Got, must got hit. Yeah. So, all those things, all those things with the. Um, that you get in games like League and all that. But in this time, it's an actual sports. It's, it's more of a, an active sports. Rather than a shooter or um, a RPG, an RTS, I think it would definitely add some variety to the the esports gaming scene. Because it's a uh, pretty fun game, to be honest. You flying around all over the place trying to get off. Expert shot, trying to score a goal. You know, there's a reason that sports like football and all that are popular. Because this gameplay can be pretty damn thrilling when it gets going. Okay, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? No. Ah, oh, he's not gonna make it. I gotta go back and pick up the ball. Yeah. If you get a team of people playing this, get some coordination, it could be this could be a really fun game. Oh no no no! Yeah, no, and the ball fell. All respond. Come on, we gotta do this. We gotta do this, guys. Has the ball. Has the ball. We has the ball. I'm gonna take the ball from you, you bastard. Who that's close. Oh, shoot! Oh. Has the ball. Times are not gonna be really close. Go straight for the base. Oh. Ball respawn. Argos has the ball. Oh, <laughs> wow, that helped. <laughs> See, this is one of the things I was saying. You have to be uh, very strategic with your shots because if you, because right there, he literally just Ball gave me respond. a free shot of the goal. By giving me a boost, so you gotta be careful. Let's plant a tower here. Let's see how that helps. Alright, how'd you come? There we go. Yeah, I think we got this game in the bag. Oh, you can pass the ball in this game, but see, this is one of the reasons I'm saying you need to be really in a team working together. Because, <laughs> seriously, it'd be really hard to pass to someone in this unless you can actually, you know, coordinate and talk back to them. Organize an actual legitimate plan. Where is he? I'm gonna punch him. Punch him! Oh no. Ah! Help! <laughs> Alright, let's go. 
see my turrets trying to you know, it's a plan to do so much. Oh, they scored. Ah, damn. Okay, come on down. Well, shoot, that was close. Oh, it's like they're trying to take some desperate shots. Tough luck, guys. No, 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 no! The ball, the ball, the ball! <laughs> no! I missed! I can't believe I missed! Ah! Oh. Disappoint. Disappoint. Argos has the ball. Ugh, come on. This game's not over yet. We've almost got this. We can do this, man. Just get that ball. Argos has the ball! He's got the S the ball. Five, four, three, two, has to one. Okay, sudden death. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. Okay, so this is so there we go, guys. This is Epigenesis. This is a pretty sci fi fun sports game, and I hope that more people give it a look. It only costs seven pounds. It's made by, um, oh no, this is a name and a half, I believe it's uh, Punch Shark Triple, no, something. Shark Triple Punch. Oh man, I mean, if you're gonna go with a name, that's a name and a half. I can. Anyway, let's exit here.